what I will do is I will look at that need. Wait, some time that is leading me because you know, some people keep asking us. Give me something I know that is real. We're talking about real genuine need now. Today, what I will do is I will contact you, which is the leader. If I can reach you, I will test you. But I will do something. All right, praise God. Let me break it down. What I said, if what they call is more than what I can handle, I will do it. It is okay. beyond that. Basically, what he's talking about is consultation. Amen? Yeah, there are times that you need consultation. Or there are a lot of little, little things that you can just handle. Are we together? And then that thing is gone. Your member doesn't have money to eat. Do you need to call the overseer for that? No. You just take care of that and you are gone. I brought that up to say that if you are always there for your member, who is there for you? You suffer alone. I, you will not suffer alone in Jesus' name. Two, let's begin to think of how we can take care of our ministers. If not for misunderstanding that some of us may have, there are other things I would have gotten into. Uh, but I will leave that for another day, another time. But let it not be that a minister in this region cannot come for meeting because of money. If it gets so bad, and please be honest and faithful about this, it gets so bad that you your church cannot afford to come for a conference like this. Call me. We'll take care of you as a region. Amen. We've done it before. We are still doing it. And we'll keep on doing it. In Jesus' name. What I will not tolerate is abuse and misuse. That one is no more caring. That is ungodliness. And it shall be well with us in Jesus' name. We can't get into the issue of insurance because not many of us are on full time. Otherwise, we're have gotten there. But for your information, I don't have insurance. Other than my car insurance, I don't have health insurance, I don't have uh, which other one? I don't have medical insurance. You know, I went to the hospital and they said, what kind of insurance do you have? And I said, I have the heavenly insurance. And the lady said, huh? <laughs> I said, <laughs> heavenly insurance. <laughs> Anyway, since that time when I go there, <laughs> they always say me that, you remember, we, we have a bullying insurance. I, oh, yes, we, we all have it. Praise God. Since that time, I said it's self pay. So they give me self pay rates. Praise God. Media and ministry. Anybody from that section? Media and ministry. Many of you were there in that department. Who wants to speak? Pastor Yemi was the loudest of all the speakers. You want to betray him? Pastor Yemi, nobody is raising up their hand. Though. Okay. Another Yemi is raising up his hand for you. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Oh, oh. <laughs> Are you... <laughs> Are you talking for the department? All right, sorry. Pastor is talking here. I didn't know. Okay, he told us about the message, the messenger, and the media. The message is Jesus only. It remains the same. The messenger is 
he who preaches Jesus must first have known Jesus. So that's the messenger. That the media, the means by which Jesus Christ is communicated to the present day generation. That's those, are the, those are the things I wrote down. You, so it, it was a preaching seminar. We needed something practical, but I think he spoke more on that because he was talking about, you know, I, w I was moving around. If you are communicating and people cannot hear what you are saying, then you are not really communicating. So the microphone you use is very important. The cabling is very important. Uh, the position of what? Your mixer is very important. Uh, who wants to make more contribution? Yes, Pastor Olukoni. Praise the Lord. He uh, told us practically the importance of the media ministry. And he gave two examples of uh, when uh, in New York, the GS came and there was a noise in the church. And they sent somebody to go and give the mic to the GS. And GS told the, the brother, I'm the preacher, you are in the media, we are working together. So you will know what they are doing. And also he talked about uh, in New Jersey when they were at the convention that the noise was just frequent. That GS walked directly to the media department and he was asking who is the head of the department? <laughs> and, <laughs> and everybody was scared. They, everybody became deaf and dumb. Yes. <laughs> yes. I know that the so he was telling us the importance of uh, that we need to, as a pastor, we need to know what is going on there. And also sometimes uh, uh, we assign people to the media department and they don't show up in the church. And the pastor doesn't know we have to plug this, we have to plug this, so that day it's going to be a problem. So we should know everything that goes on in the media department. Thank you. You have what I said earlier on, be part of it yourself. Be part of it yourself. I think it's only lately with the kind of equipment they use here. There was almost right from Georgia to Upshaw here in DC to this place. There was nothing they used that I, I, I'm not a media person, I'm not a technical person. But because this is the church, and if anything goes wrong, it's still on my head. I have to go and learn it. Amen. So please get involved. The GS was at Chicago. And it was ministering. And the microphone backed up. That day, give me the word. Give me the word now. When it happens like that. So you don't know that one. That thank you. Say it, let them hear you. That is old Ruk Beke. Katakata don't bust. That's all old Ruk Beke. I don't know the language, don't ask me. It's to cut the long story short, they run up and down. You know everyone is sweating. They brought the telephone uh, microphone to Baba. Baba didn't tell you my day. Till he finished preaching, he didn't use microphone. <laughs> Can you imagine the president of the nation talking? Can you imagine the CEO of a company addressing the whole company worldwide? And things packing up. Is that serious? You can be you can be sure whoever is in charge of that thing is fired right away. So the things of God should not be taken lightly. Media is very, very important. Just this morning, my people here got in trouble. Because that keyboard will not work. And they know I pay attention to every 
bit of thing that happened. And this show, motif, has no motif. Amen? Is, uh, what do you call it now? Huh? Which profession? It's kind of mono. It doesn't have the condiments. It's very good, but it doesn't have the necessary condiments. Or maybe they are the one don't do it. Pastor Chad, does it have the condiments? It does. I never had it. Anyway. They should have tested it before service started. You should be sure everything is functional before you begin to minister. If you are a keyboard person, you are ministering with it. So please, let's take it serious. The microphone we use, very important. I don't know what happened to their microphone today. Maybe battery because they have good microphones here. They spent my money good here. They know I don't like a half big job, so they capitalize on that. So if I don't give them the money, they say, Pastor, we told you only to buy this one. <laughs> That's why it's packing up. So I give money. So if I give money and then they pack up, then I pack you up. Praise God. But I think it was just battery thing. They didn't remember to change the battery. Each of this microphone, another person that likes to spend money is Pastor Yemi. Not to look on you. Urimo Buja. He can spend one million dollar on media. Even if he has to pack it up the following day. Praise God. But that tests you that people are in search for excellence. And the Lord will help us. So check what you are using in your church. Go for the best. Amen. If you can get the best best, at least get something better than what you are using right now. And it will be well with you in Jesus' name. When we talk about church growth, all these things matter. Media, very, very important. Very, very important. Your internet, make sure it's working well. Um, I think we touched everything already. Ministerial networking. I think indirectly we touch on that too, right? But anybody from that area? Networking. We we'll talk about it. Connecting. It also is connected with the elite thing. I think we need to put a break on that. And then move forward. I need somebody from there, somebody from here, somebody from here, one person here, one person here, one person, here, one person. Tell me what you gain from this seminar. Yes, over there. Any of the area of the seminar. We have gone through the whole thing. Somebody from that side, anybody? I was with the media. Again, that's in the media department, the in-house, that is the church, have to look beautiful. I need to get digital mixer for the church. The video presentation has to be perfect and to have a working internet. Thank you so much. From this side, one person. Before I get to your session, just quickly identify yourself. Anybody here? Yes. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Get the mic for the next person here. Just raise up your hand before they get to you. They'll give you the mic. Yes, go ahead. Music um, department. I, did, I learned that we should not be satisfied with the way things are. We are to grow. We are to find new ways of doing things, of reaching souls. Because music is very important and your ministry. Thank you so much. And our first minister in the morning told us about that also, that don't be contented with your current level. Start school. Yes, over here. 
Yes, give it to Dr. Moran. Dr. Yu Moran. I was there with the elite and the teacher told us a lot of this is the church. This is my Abraham Isaac and Shana Barrows. Just a rich man. By the way, your top jacket looks like that of elite anyway. Thank you, sir. And so you mentioned all of those people and then like the just a rich man when the time came showed up. And maybe some people here want Thank you. This side. Yes, somebody behind you. Okay, yeah. Go ahead, Pasochi. Just two key words. I have two key phrases. Yes. You must be driven with uh, driven with supposed to fulfill purpose. And number two, you cannot do it alone. You need all that. Dream and driven with purpose. And let's work. Yeah. Thank you so much. Do you hear that? You have to dream ambition and then know that there are people that god has put in places that can help you get to your destination yes over here yes sister desola you are the desola for now my name is sister titi hey is that sister titi yes sir i didn't know you are here yes i am yes. welcome yes sir good what i learned this morning especially from the first speaker don't develop your spiritual gift. The people coming behind you will be left you behind. You'll be left behind. Thank you. you. Keyword. Left behind. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, somebody from this side. Anybody? Yes. Praise the Lord. I like that we have to push ourselves. And when we really push ourselves, God will give us all the gifts that we need and we'll be able to use it for the church, not for ourselves. And I God has a lot of gifts he wants to give unto us, but we are not using it. I Thank you so it. much. Yes. Sit there. I saw another person. Yes. Sister Grace. Yes. I like that. Effective media produces confidence in the minister. Produces confidence in the minister. Thank you so much. Yes. Pastor Victor. From all these uh, I want to use this opportunity to say I think we need time for training um, in our locations. We need what? Time for training. 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 Oh, time for training. Yeah, practical training in, okay. our, in our workplaces, in our locations. So okay. I don't know if we can incorporate that in our Saturday's workers' meeting. Uh, so we, we come on Saturday, we use it to prepare for Sunday, hands on training. Most times we get the song just on Sunday morning. The media are working on Sunday morning, but if we come for on Saturday, yeah, we listen to the messages, but we also divide into our departments and train ourselves on how to prepare for Sunday. I think it's going to really help us. Let's put our hands together for him. I've said that so many times that our workers meeting should not just be for another preaching alone. Workers training, we have a lot of preaching in this church. We need hands-on training. Training. And God will help us in Jesus' name. We're doing that here before, but lately I don't have the time. And uh, so the, we're back to search the scripture. Building the body. What again? Message. Benediction. God bless you. But churches don't grow that way. Uh, Pastor Yemi, the what's the name of this guy we normally invite from Georgia to come and help us? Ben. The church he was attending, their church starts. Do you remember what time? I remember. He has forgotten. 11 a.m. But the people in the media department gets there 8 a.m. They are not being paid. He's African like you and I. 
But you know what made the difference? It was American church, white church. They pay attention to detail. We, we jamboree everything. I'm sorry? We pay detail to attention. <laughs> I need, I, need, I need to write that one down. <laughs> Nobody ever told me that before. <laughs> so instead of paying attention to detail, we pay detail to attention. God bless you, Pastor. Yeah, that's what is affecting us. We need training. And so, please, Pastors, can we just move around the way we do things in our churches and incorporate training into our workers meeting just call it workers training if we need to change the name for the thing to register with us call this what what workers training what are you training for we used to have choir we have used to have a uh, ushering we used to and was it two years ago or three years ago that's I said within the year, everybody within the region, choir will come at the time, ushers will come. How, do you remember? And then COVID came. God will help us in Jesus' name. Yes, Pastor Nkwacha. Praise the Lord. Second to what Pastor Vito said, um, second to evolving, I think we need a platform for training. And what I mean that is that we need to centralize the training so that everybody would grow at the same pace. So if we have a digital platform, now the schools, thank God for COVID, they've all devised means of training people without physically meeting. There is this software called Canvas, and a lot of people use it to train. At the moment now, I've got the license from the University of Central Florida to manage studio of the school. How did I get trained? It was online. Nobody met me physically. So the world is changing and we need to change with the world so that we will not be left behind. So if we can subscribe to Canvas and if we now have democratized leaders across these sectors, is it the music? We have somebody who is in charge of training and development. Is it some, you know, media? We have training and we have curriculum that every pastor first, then the workers need to, you know, subscribe to and make, we give them timing to deliver, we set exams for them so that we will all grow at the same pace. All right, praise God. Uh, if, we do, if we don't use Canvas, can we use Snickers? All right, praise God. Let's do something. If we don't uh, get something done from here, nothing is going to get done. Are we together? Uh, for the for the choir, sorry, for the Austrian department, we actually have a manual that we use. I put together, Pastor Reggie put together. Uh, can you stand up, Pastor Para? Let's put our hands together for him. All right. Uh, for the ocean department, we want to now have, I think this meeting is being productive. It's not so much of coming and preaching and preaching alone. If we can get things accomplished, I didn't say you should sit down. After all, you're a military guy. All right. So, for the ocean department, Media department, Pastor Yemi, please come out. Maybe Pastor Reggie, come out, come out, come out. Let's make it more practical. Help me with the. Uh, music department, Pastor Charles has been helping us regionally. Can you please come out, sir? That's my resident pastor. Clap for him now. You want him to fire me?
plus c'est mes rôles. Oui, je suis dans le département maintenant. Children department, thank you. Oh. Children department, who do we put in charge of that that can put something together? I think I need to work on that department. I know we have people working there, but um, someone that really not just church team, but someone that knows about all this curriculum on how things are put together, organized in the private sector that we can adapt into the spiritual se uh, sector. Uh, if you know of anybody, please let me know. I know we have great workers, but for what we want to do now, we need, uh, we need the professional. If we have to get from outside, then we have to get from outside and pay for it. Um, which other department? I'm sorry? Youth? Uh, Pastor Tundi and Pastor Victor, they are doing a very good job in that area. So, where's Pastor Tundi? I've not seen him today. All right, please come out. Pastor Victor, come out with him. They are actually putting something together, but we are not talking about training the workers. So, just next department, the next, the next, the next. Thank you. Who mentioned finance? Who? Pastor Lau, you thank you. You know, every year, pay attention here, every year, Redeem gets all their financial people in all their churches. They come here for training. It's a whole weekend. It's a whole weekend. And I think they did not bother, but it's the finance I know very well. I was in Nigeria some time ago, and then the accountant in Ghana came to Nigeria for the same thing. Over here, they come, maybe they take it around, but I know of the one they came to do in Washington, D.C. So, we need to train our people. Of course, we don't care because we don't, we don't have the money, but the money is coming. I need a better one. The more amen you say, the better money you get. Yeah. Let me also say amen so I can get amen. Yeah. But in the meantime, Pastor Lukoni, Pastor Bayeri, the two of you come out. They are the ones helping us regionally. They are both accountants. Media department. Pastor who? Pastor Dan. Oh, Pastor Dennis. What's he doing? <laughs> he said he said no. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry? Uh, we have a brother in charge, but he's not here. That's uh, Brother Henry. Another department? Prayer? Oh, we don't need training for prayer. The devil is already is already lamenting that we pray too much. <laughs> Praise God. But by God's grace, we have uh, people in charge of that uh, humbling prayer. So 
I think that is one thing we have done very well over the years, uh, which is very good. <laughs> All right. Any other departments? We have that in place already. Okay, training. Pastor Charles, I think and I agree with uh, Pastor Pastor Patolo. Our pastors need training in the area of marriage committee. So what do we do? Do we and it's gonna be too much for you to handle too. So which one do you want to drop? Huh? I am not being led anyway. <laughs> there is no leading right now. <laughs> you know, we spiritualize some things. Amen. We are being frank with ourselves now. Can we get uh, Pastor? Those who have done it and done it and done it. The challenge is we still have a challenge with. Huh? I didn't hear you. I thought somebody said something there. Uh, maybe we'll look into that later on. But definitely we need to train our pastors when it comes to the marriage committee team. And the good thing is, the various uh, places where we have them, in the south-south, they connect with the central committee. We have the central committee. If they have any question, uh, New York, they connect. Uh, Pennsylvania, they connect. Uh, North Carolina, they connect. So... But all the pastors, maybe we should just have a session for the pastors. And then we know that when we come together for another meeting, we we'll have a session for marriage committee training. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Sister Chica. Can you please speak English? Praise the Lord. Well, there are many pastors wives here, and there are no women. There's no provision for the women. Um, the food is something that I've noticed. Some of the foods are like very heavy, very dense. And we are pastors and leaders, and we're Africans too. The statistics are always against us in terms of mortality, mobility, and things like that. So I feel there should be something for the women to do and develop, I mean, there's a lot of things and a lot of people are complaining or dying in silence. I don't know what that, what the church has in plan for us. Can you speak English, please? <laughs> she give up we, on We me. need women ministry to be a little bit more robust. That's what I'm saying. Oh, women ministry. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Now you are speaking. When you say we have uh, food here, and then we have mobility, we have mortality, <laughs> we have. Uh, <laughs> I was wondering, okay, what are you talking about? All right, praise God. Uh, actually, different locations do different things. Take, for instance, uh, North Carolina, they have a constant uh, women program going on. Um, I'm not sure what is going on in Georgia, if anything at all is going on. Um, around here, different churches do. Do you have anything going on? Okay. Laura, they have something. Columbia, they have something going on. 
It depends on the need of the location and the challenge of the location. But there are some of us that nothing, nothing is actually going on. If you go on the website, there is actually a month, was it last month or so, that we have that supposed to be for women uh, ministry. I put that there so that everybody will be able to plan for their church. Unfortunately, most of you don't go there to follow the program for the for the church. But we do have all those. Uh, I think it's only Sister Pastor Charles' wife alone that called me.
the Lord. Welcome you this morning to this worship service in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the grace of God, I believe as we are here this day, the Lord is going to bless each and every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't mind, let's rise up on our feet as we want to pray now. Start the session. Let's rise up on our feet. Heavenly Father, we bow before you. We do praise you because you are God and beside you there is no one again. Thank you, Father, because you are the ancient of days. And we do bless you for the privilege that you are given unto us this morning to come before you. Lord.